Hey everyone, and welcome to the May 9th Stock Talk. Uh, thank you once again for joining me. I read some of your comments from the last video and they were hilarious. Uh, yeah, so I'm back. Glad to see everyone back here again. Uh, if you are new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Let's talk about the stock market and where we are on the charts. So here is the S&P 500 SPY. Uh, on the daily time frame, and since we'll, when we've talked about the last video, uh, I think everyone, what everyone's seeing right now is this uh, pretty dramatic, I think, triple top, right? So uh, when we look at the top, you can see here's the top, here's another top, and here's the another potential top, and everyone thinks, oh my goodness, we have a higher probability all of a sudden given that we are all the way on top and we can go on lower and make a double bottom. So here's the deal with this, right? This week uh, is so far been pretty bad week, right? But it's the first week. I have to tell everyone that we have support down below and just because we have a few days of down days doesn't mean that we're going to go all the way and retest the lows. So let's talk about where we are on the charts right now. Um, when we look at the daily time frame, you can see that we made a high briefly and then we're now coming down lower and we held the 50 period moving average today. You have to ask yourself, by holding the 50 period moving average, is this a positive sign for the markets or the negative sign for the markets? Well, the answer is positive. But furthermore, I can strengthen the case that um, right now, here is a gap area which we came down and test and we came off of that. That's also a positive sign for today. And also, we have support down below, and this is a very strong support because this is the support after we broke out of 281, right? This is a very strong support. So what do we see in the near future? Increased volatility. That's for certain. So it would not be surprising to see high shifts uh, in all the indices one way or another, intraday, every single day. We're in an increased time of volatility. Point number two doesn't mean we're going to come down to the lows. If we were to come down to the lows, you would have seen today more of a sell off and more of a red candle close rather than us pushing higher. So what am I doing? I'm looking to see where we could potentially reverse because I think we are getting close. We're closing in on some very strong, these are very strong support areas right here, if not today, in the next few days. So if I see anything different, come back and update everyone. But for now, everything seems okay, despite us dropping a bit, okay? So doesn't mean the bearish case is going to take over all of a sudden. All right. Uh, now, when we look at the, uh, let's take a look at TVIX, which is, uh, you know, kind of shows you volatility. And from TVIX, you can see what? Well, you can see green, but today we held a red candle, or this is more of a sell signal, right? If you looked at this and you saw that we had high volume here, let me just actually, maybe I can show you a little bit better uh, when you look at the intraday chart. Right. When you look at this and how we gapped higher, right, this was a gap move up. We came down, tested it, but we closed at the low of the day that has to be construed more as a negative. In addition, when you look at the VIX, which is the fear index, right, when you look at the VIX, uh, let me show you something here. It, you Can you see this this candle? We got very close to my target of 24 and we came off of it. Again, fear is dissipating. Doesn't mean it has to dissipate all the bit way back down tomorrow, though it can, okay? But it means that we've reached a short-term high. Now, does it mean that we can come back, back to 22 and retest it? We can, but that's the short-term high, maybe even the medium-term, long-term high, right? So when I look at this, I'm looking the, to, at this as opportunity for the broad markets 
because what? Because some of our favorite stocks that we've been talking about in our group on our Discord chat are on a discount. That's how we were perceiving things now even more so given that today's candle that we formed on the VIX, right? So that is the VIX for everyone. For slash CO, looking at crude oil futures, I talked about this higher low trend line that spans several years from the past. And now you can see we continuously hold above that trend line. So that still should be construed more as a positive sign. And we also have moving averages, which we've held over on the daily time frame. So uh, right now, I think crude oil is still holding up. So, so far, okay, I think for crude. Natural gas, when we look at the natural gas chart, we are on a short term or medium term uptrend. You can see that we have near term resistance, but I don't expect this to be a very strong resistance at 2.656, maybe an intraday reaction off of that level, but this looks like it's trying to push higher. So for natural gas, we see some positive developments in the short term. And then for gold, uh, gold continues to be and struggles to be at a resistance. So in that case, when it struggles to be at a resistance, then that's that. We expect uh, more of a down move by gold. The support level is 1266. So we're at a resistance level. The support level is around 1267. So there's certainly a potential for this to continue to move lower. So interesting day in the markets today. I think everyone was paying attention to the S&P 500 uh, in all of the markets, I think, because at one point, you know, this is something I was telling the members, you know, I think the markets can reverse back up at any point in time, whether it was intraday, you know, or even if you look at this on a daily or a weekly basis, it has the ability to do so. So when we were even in the red and we were definitively in the red below the 50 period moving average in the first half of the day, uh, my response to the members was there's plenty of more hours left to go in the day. Okay. Um, and there is a potential for us to form a green candle by the end of the day over the 50. Just because of what happens in the first half of the day doesn't mean it's going to happen at the latter half of the day. Uh, so overall, again, I'm looking for support levels to hold in the near term, but we had a move lower. Now we're looking for stability and then finally a reversal. And that's what I'm looking for in the near future. Thank you very much for joining me on this video. Thanks for watching. Like if you like this video. Hope you'll see you all soon.